So I want to look at the image tag today and let's see how that works. The image tag is used to display an image, to display an image on the screen. So this is what you are going to do. To write the image tag is a self-closing tag. You just write IMG like this. It's a self-closing tag. This tag helps us to display an image on the screen. Next is, after writing this tag, you give it an attribute called SLC. This SLC stands for source. Source. That is, what is the source of the image? Remember I said the image tag is a self-closing tag, meaning that you don't close it like this. No. You don't close it like this. You just like this. You only open it. It's a self-closing tag. So after writing the image tag, give it an attribute, SLC. That is source. What is the source of the image? Or where is the image located? The image we are trying to display on the screen. Where is it located? So there are different ways or there, there are different options for that. Number one, your image might be maybe it may be located somewhere on the internet. Let's first do that. It may be located on the internet. So I will go online and search for maybe image of a dog. Dog image. So I'll go to maybe under images section. So let's assume I want to display the image of this dog on my page. I will just right click and click on image source. Um, copy image address. So when I click on copy image address, it will help me to copy the address of that image. I've clicked on it, I've copied it. Let me quickly allow people okay. Again, right click on the image you want. Click on copy image address. So this is what we need, the address of that image. That is where the image is located on the internet. Now go to the code and paste it here. Good. So I've copied it, I've pasted it here. Save it and run it on your page. Can we see the image? So the image now is available on my page. Let me put another image on my page. I will open another tag, another IMG tag. Source. This time, uh, maybe I want it to be image of a goat. Right click on it. Uh, let me copy this. Copy image address. Paste it here. So I pasted it. Go to the browser, refresh now. Any questions so far? So next is you can increase the width or the height or reduce it. You can adjust the width and the height of these images. So let's do that together. I'll first go to the first one and increase, adjust the width and height. I can give it another attribute called height. And I can say, let the height be, let's say, 200 pixel. And let the width be also 200 pixel, so that my image will now be like a square since the height and the width are now the same this will be a square so when you go to the browser now so this is 200 by 200 i can also adjust this if i want to i will go to that of the second one i think i want to go to the and come here and say height 
is maybe I can give it 50 by 50 if I want it to be a square or so. 50 pixel. So here I've adjusted the height. I'm going to the browser. This is 50 by 50. So you can adjust the width and the height. Any question? Next is this. It is very possible for something to go wrong with the location of this image. Like I said, you know, the other time we copied the image address and we pasted it in our codes. Now let's assume that that image, the uh, the, that image was shifted from that location so that the image is no longer at that particular location. Then you will agree with me that my image will not be displayed on the screen because the image has been shifted from that location. That is possible. Uh, it's also possible for uh, for your link. I want to copy there for you to have a mistake here. Just let's just mimic that. Let's assume I mistakenly the latest part of it so that that image no longer that that is this URL is no longer correct. Like I said, it's possible for you to just make a mistake or for anything to happen to the image at that location. It's possible for this URL not to point to the image so we want to assume just an assumption that i made a mistake with the image url so that the first one is no longer correct now as you can see you have this it's not displaying that image this happens often on websites you can get to some website maybe if you are not connected to internet maybe you use your internet connection or the image was shifted from that location or the developer made a, made a mistake it's possible for you to see things like this on a web page now if you are the owner of that website what do you do this is very bad for users users should like even if you are not displaying the image even if anything happens or goes wrong with the image the user should still have an idea of what was here so let's adjust that you can add a new attribute. We've added the height, we've added the width, we've added the source. You want to add a new attribute called alt. This alt stands for alternative, like alternate. Alternative that means if, if for any reason the image is not showing, then display this text. I can say image of a dog. Again, if for any reason the image is not being displayed, if for any reason, then display this text but if the image URL is correct it's not going to display this text but if for any reason the URL is not correct or the image is not being displayed then you will see this text that is the essence of the odds image of a dog I can also add odds to this one Can say a good so if the as you can see it's not displaying that that's because the image is being displayed but if anything goes wrong with this image if the url is not correct let me just remove part of it so that this url is no longer correct you will see a good so that helps us even if your page is not loading and the images or the images on your page if they are not loaded, at least the user will still have an idea of what should be there. So that is the essence of the art. Then one more thing, it still has one more advantage. Remember in our last class, was there our last class now? I talked about screen readers. I told you that some people are, some people will use your page without being able to see the content of your page. They will use your page using screen readers. Meaning that if you display whether the image of a goat or a, of a dog, they can't see it. But this art will be read out to them. To those using screen reader. It will read whatever text you put there so that they will have an idea of what is there since they can't see your page. So this art now, screen reader will read the content of that part and tell them that, that oh, the, what we have here is a goat. Any question? Okay, let's proceed so we looked at one scenario the first scenario is we want to assume 
that your image is somewhere online and you want to use the image in your code. The second scenario, which, well, I think that's more, that's common, especially when you are dealing with front end. I think that's common. Your image is somewhere on your own device and you want to use it on your page. It's not online now. It's not online. You have an image somewhere on your device and you want to display this image on the screen. How then do you go about it? That's the next thing you want to do. So I will remove all of this. So I'll go to my device and I will look for I think I should have some pictures here. So we want to display this on our screen, this image. We want to display it in our own code. How do we go about it? So what I'm going to do is I will copy this image, this image. Then I will go to the folder where my files are located. This folder, this HTML codes, I will paste it there. So this is the image now. It's now at the same location with my codes, with my HTML, with this file, contact.html. This is the contact.html. The image I want to display is at the same location as that file where my codes are next is i will rename this to something maybe easier to call i, will, I can just call it maybe my image anything the reason is i, I don't want all those brackets and extra spaces that was in the initial name just give it a name that is and please don't use spaces it's not advisable like i said as much as possible try to avoid spaces in your in your names i mean the names of your files whether image or videos or html files just as much as possible try to avoid spaces there so here this image i've renamed it i've renamed it to my image so i want to display this my image inside this place remember both of them this is the file i'm working on contact.html this is the image they are inside the same folder so next is this i will come here and say img then the source will just be just put the name of the image my image next you want to put the extension of the image is it jpg is it png or whatever it is you want to put the extension so let's check the extension of this image to check the extension right click on the image click on go to properties dot png uh -huh, good this can be capital letter if it's capital letter then you use the capital letter if it's in lowercase like this then you use the lowercase this is in lowercase dot png is in small letter so you're going to use this dot png if yours is in cap capital letter because there are some images like that that they can they may be in capital letter because this thing is co is case sensitive it is case sensitive if it's in capital letter you write it in capital letter if it's in small letter you write it in small letter whatever is inside this bracket is what you will use this is dot png and the png is in lower case so come here now and say dot png so let's go to the browser now and check refresh here and refresh so we have it here this is it it's been displayed now so if you think it's too big you can adjust the width and height and say width the width is maybe 200 by 200 height is so i've reduced the width and the height now if i refresh my send this code then give it hot alternative that is in case the image in case anything happens to the image, display this maybe 
set of cuts. Set of cuts. So this is. Let's do another one. I will display another image on the screen. This time around, let me go to another location and pick another image. Okay. Next, I want to display this image on my screen. This image. I will go to where my goods are located. I'll paste it there. So this is the image. I think this name is equal to three. Then I can say to display this image, I can say image the source is two three. Then I need to check the extension. Right click, go to properties. This is capital letter P N G. So since this is capital letter, then I will use the capital letter here. Dot P N G. So give it us. I think maybe that will be not up. Well, as a loan app, then I can give it height and width. Let me first check the default height and width. If it's too big, then we can adjust it. Oh, this is too big. Oh, okay, you can say this is the sign up page of a loan app. Sign up page of a loan app. Then it's too big. I can adjust the width and height. Width, I can also make it 200 by 200. So, I think that's fine now. So, we have this. Any question? So, this is how to display an image on the screen. Now, for the sake of organization of course, yes, which is cool. It's good for that your codes are organized. We need to make some adjustment to this. It's not a good practice for you to put your images at the same location of your files, like just by just dumping them. Yeah, it's not cool. Let's get a folder for them. I'll call the folder images folder. Images. So I'll take the two images. I'll put them inside our images folder. So I've taken the two, I placed the two images. Yeah. If I go to the browser now, if they won't, you won't see them again. You won't see them. that's because the location of the images have changed. According to what we have, I'm just saying, look for my image.png and as you can see, there is no my image.png. So what we want to do is this. We want to say that first open this images folder, then pick my images.p pick my image.png then for the next one also we say first open this images folder then pick 23.png so let's do that together we we'll come here now and adjust this and say images sorry i think i wrote double i so what this means is you will see a folder called images this slash this slash forward slash means open that folder you will see a folder called images this forward slash means open that folder that you will see a file called my image.png we do the same thing to this okay, so you will you see a folder called images open this and you see a file called 23.png if i go to the browser now i should see the two of them again any questions so far So having discussed images, let's look at videos and audios before we go today. Audios and videos. How do we display videos on our page? That's the next thing. So next is, I want to display a video here. I can remove these images now. I can just comment that out. Since I told us that when you comment anything, it's not going to be displayed on the screen. So open a video a video tag like this after opening the tag give it a source 
so this source contains the location of that video the location of that video so i have downloaded the video also under downloads i think i downloaded a short video opposite from this video so i've downloaded it i will just place the video here video playback let me rename it to something shorter the name i can just say vid something you can also use the old name anyway you can use the old name video playback also but i think it's good vid you can call it any name of your choice so i'll say let the source be vid dot then i will check the extension Let's check the extension of that video. Properties. Dot MP4. So I'll say. Dot MP4. Again, to display a video, open the video tag. Inside that video tag, put this source. Then that source will now have SLC. The SLC contains the location of your video. Now, I'll come back to this. You should display it on the screen. You have this. And then, next is normally you should see like controls of that video, maybe button to play it and all of that. So, I can come here and say controls. Just search controls like this. If I come here now, Good. We've seen the controls. If I remove the con these controls, I won't see those controls. I won't be able to pause it, play it, or do all of that. But by adding controls, now I can. I will see the controls. I can play the video. <laughs> it, I can put it in full screen. I can exit full screen. And all of that. That's possible because of the control. So to put a video on a page, open the video tag inside it. Put this. Now let's talk about this type. This type, the convention or the way you write this is you write video slash the type. The type of this is MP4. So slash MP4. The truth is this. You can't play all videos on the browser. There are only few videos. I think you can play MP4 on the browser. You can play OGG. Some few videos. You can't play all videos directly on the browser. So this type, we tell you, we, we quickly tell the browser if it can play it or not. But just keep in mind that the extension here really matters. The extension here really matters. You can't play all videos on the browser. So I think video app like VLC can play a lot of extensions, video extensions, but the browser can't play much. It plays MP4, it plays OGG and few maybe and few other ones like that. So to display it, just put this type. Like like you observed the other time. I didn't add this type and it worked fine. But it's good to follow best practices. Just put video slash whatever extension you put you have here. This is slash MP4 video slash the extension here. This is slash mp4 so this is working fine lastly alternate alternative in case this video is not displayed it's possible the extension here may not be correct it's, it's, it may not be correct let me just put the video of course there is no file called video.mp4 the name of my file is vid not video so if i run this it will not play it again refresh so it's not playing it it's not bringing any video the reason you see all of this is because of the controls that we have active but it's not displaying that video so we want to do something we want to say if for any reason it can't play that video you want to display this text your video cannot be played this is really helpful or useful when the video cannot play uh, the browser cannot play video of that particular extension it is really helpful in that case whatever text you put here will be displayed if the browser cannot play that video that's because this is mp4 you are not having all of that 
But if the video type is a type that the browser cannot play, it will, this will be displayed on the browser. But understand how the video tag works. The video, you open the video tag, you put the source inside it, then you can now, uh, here you put the location of your video here, and the type, if that is video slash the extension. So, next is, you now put your odds, okay, control, so yes, you put your controls to, so as to be able to control the video. And it's also possible that you want to do something. You don't want the user, or maybe whenever the user gets to the page, instantly you want to start playing the video. Meaning you don't want to wait till the user presses this. You want to automatically play the video. So you can use autoplay. You can come here and say autoplay. So what this is going to do is this. Immediately the user gets to the page, it will start playing itself. Okay, I will check up why this is what's going what's wrong with this. But what the function of this auto play is that in nothing the user gets to the page, the video we start playing itself. It's not going to wait till the user, maybe, or maybe I'll run this on another browser and see. I expect this to work fine. So, in the user gets to the page, this autoplay will start playing that video immediately. Immediately. So, it won't even wait for the user to press the play button. So, I think that's video. For audio, also, the same thing. You come here and open the audio tag, give it source. Then the source will be the source of the audio. I don't think I have any audio here. I don't think so. But just like video, it's exactly like video. The source will be the source of that audio. And the type will be audio slash the extension of that audio. Then if it can't play, you just add the text here, just like that. And same with your controls. The controls will allow the user to be able to control the audio. Any question? Are we getting it? Yes. Okay, so let's have a Yes, summary. thank you. I get it. You're welcome. Let's quickly let's have a summary of everything we've done so far before we call it today. We looked at the image tag. Mm, let me comment out about this. We looked at the image tag. The image tag is IMG. Then you put the source here, that is the location of that image then we also looked at the video tag inside this video you put source here then this SRC will be the location of that video and also audio tag you have source this will be the location of that audio inside this place you put the location of that audio then to allow or to make it possible for users to be able to control your video you put controls here also, in order to be able to control your audience, you put controls here. Then, in case your image is not displaying for any reason, you put the hot here. Then, whatever text you put here will be displayed in case this source, the source here is not correct. So, it will be this, the text here will be displayed. Then, here also, you do the same thing here. You put some text here. In case the, the, uh, the browser does not support the type, whatever type you put here, the text here will be displayed. Same with the audio, you just put some text here. In case the browser does not support the type here, then the text, whatever text you put here, will be displayed to the user. You can just put something like this. maybe the browser does not support the browser does not support. This video, something like this. So I'll copy the same and change this to audio now. So then, odds, I can say image not fun. Please don't, 
Don't use this text image not found as odd, like it's not equal. Let whatever else you put here for image, let it be a description of the image you are you want to show on the screen. Let it be a description of this. Don't just put image not found. But what I'm what it just means is in case the image is not found, whatever text you put here will be displayed to the user. But let it be a description of the image here. So any question before I give us an assignment? In case there is no question, in our last class, we talked about, uh, I asked you to write completion about yourself, then to have about page, to have contact page. So what you are going to do is this, put your, put three images of yourself, put one on the landing page, put another image of yourself on the about page and put another image of yourself on the contacts page again get two images of yourself get them onto your device on your device then put one if you are using phone it's possible that you may have issue with this part but if you are using pc you, are, you won't have visual at all you may have issues you may you may but if you are using the laptop or desktop you won't have use at all so what you want to do is you want to put the image if you are using phone what you can do is this if you have the image of yourself on platforms like maybe facebook you can copy the location just copy the paths to that image or, or or maybe to instagram copy to the paths to that image i think that should work yes but maybe but you won't be able to put the image on that device maybe on your phone you won't be able to but if you're using the system, you won't have use with this at all. So, uh, what you're going to do, just display the image of yourself, put one image on the landing page, put another image of yourself on the about page, and put another image of yourself on the contact page. Then submit tomorrow. Tomorrow we continue from here. We are going to look at form. I think we have two major tags to check before we leave. Two major tags to check that is form and table once you are done with form and table we are done with the main tags any question all right so i will upload the video on youtube and to us. Yes, so you are done for two weeks i can't tell you sir hello hello sir the assignment is for image only. Okay, the assignment is that remember in our last assignment, I asked us to create three pages one for the landing page, one for the about page, and one for the contact page about yourself. Then the assignment is you now put your image on each of those pages. You are going to put one of your images on the landing page. You put another image of yours on the about page, then you put another image on the contact page. Okay. All right. All right. Have a lovely night. Is there any other question before we go? Okay. Have a lovely night, guys. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.